What's up guys? Seattle Gaming here back with another first look video Halloween edition. Today we are playing I Can't Escape Darkness. This is a horror slash indie slash maze runner slash atmospheric game by Fancy Fish Games. You can get it on Steam for $11.99. It's got full controller support which I won't be using, and it's also got achievements and trading cards and all sorts of good stuff. Now, before we begin, it's important for me to tell you that I received a copy of this game from the developers in order to create this video for you guys. So without that, this video would not be possible. I just want to let you guys know before we get into it. Let's take a look here at the options. If you want to skip that, click that annotation in the top left of the screen. There are opposites, or er, opposite. There are different sliders for music and sound volume. There's a gamma, cursor sensitivity, and dead zone slider as well. Graphics quality, you just have low, medium, high. This doesn't really tell me much. It doesn't tell me what kind of ambient occlusion you have or nothing. So I prefer to have actual different ones to do, but you know, it's better than no graphics quality options. And then full screen on or off, language, I chose English because that is what I speak. You can also change your controls, if you will, with fully rebindable controls, leaderboards, credits. I did the tutorial just to get acclimated to this game. Um, it was very, very short. And let's get right into it. We, we recommend playing in the dimly lit room with your speaker or headphones volume turned up. I am in a dimly lit room, except for this one here, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to see me in my beautiful mask. And I do have my volume turned up on my headset. All right. We will leave that just as it is and enter the dungeon. All right. Ooh. What we got here? Oh, okay. It was a trap. It's a trap. Let's, uh, let's pick up the stick. And let's put that in this hand. I think that means, no. Space. Okay, space is swing stick. Anything else? Can we pick up a rock? No. Okay. So, as you may or may not have already noticed, you are constrained in your movement to basically the tiles on the floor. So, and let's just throw that there, which will open up that. So yeah, we have two ways we can go. Obviously we can't go this way, we have to find the key. So we have two ways we can go. We can go this way, or we can go this way. Let's head this way, because we opened it up. Welcome, unfortunate one. I am distressed to see you have fallen into the darkness. There is no escape from this tomb. Indescribable darkness lurks within. Despite what I, this, I will try to assist you. You must venture deep into the dark if you wish to reach the light. Heed my advice and you may yet live. Descend to the next level. There I will speak to you again. Move with care, as I cannot save you should you meet with peril. Descend to the next level. All right, so let's talk about the controls because this is my first gripe with this game. There's W, A, S, and D. Let's go back to here. So, W is forward, S is back, A is left, D is right, and then Q is rotate, and E is rotate. It's a little bit clunky. Not a lot of freedom of movement there. So, let's not go that way. Let's head this way. I'm going to throw my rock here. Okay. And we can pick it back up. Let's uh, take a look both directions. There's light over there, and there's darkness over here. But if we hit F... Nope, that is not what we wanted. Oh, we we hit a thing. Okay. If we hit I, that'll bring this up, which means that we can put it back there. I heard something unzipping. Is somebody unzipping their fly in here? That's what it sounds like. All right, so we can pick up this rock. So we definitely want to see what's going on. We can click. Okay, the block won't budge. How about this one? No? All right. How about this one? It went up. Okay. I think we need to do this one first. And then maybe this one? No? Okay. 
Let's pick that back up again. Now I tried the controls. Okay, it went down a little bit more, which means this will be the last one, which means our back will be turned to it. So let's turn around. Oh look, a skeleton. Day two, still no sign of a way out. Oh, what's hitting me? No, die. Die, 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 die. Okay. Still no sign of a way out, but this room seems safe. We'll make camp here for the night and explore more in the morning. We have provisions enough for a few days, but Malone's been hitting the bottle a lot since we got trapped here. I don't blame him. Ghosts aren't real. That's not what I saw. All right, let's drop that. We got attacked by a rat, which did some damage, unfortunately. Um, so I guess we can drop that. There's a bottle. All right, let's pick up the bottle. And let's head this way. Now, our, our flashlight does have a battery in it. So we have to be careful. So I'm going to turn that off. It's not quite dark enough to use that. Let's pick up a rock or let's not pick up a rock. All right, let's keep headed this way. Um, that looks like a trap, but we're going to step there. Yep, it was a trap. All right. The darkness has not yet conquered this floor, but beware the mortal puppets it watches through. Seek the treasure beyond the spider's seal, guarded though it is. It may prolong your life. Tarry not and descend to the next floor as soon as you are able. All right, let's turn on. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Let's, uh... We definitely want some sort of a weapon. Let's have the bottle as a weapon for now. Okay. So, okay. So there is a a torch we can light there. Oh, there's like a hookah or something here. What does this do? Can I turn? It does nothing. Okay. Well, let's keep headed in this way. Make sure F is light. That is swing. Okay. So I'll make sure I didn't get those mixed up, you know? All right. There's a hole in the wall with an eyeball in it. Uh, let's swing at that. F. No, F. Space. No, that's not doing anything. As you can see, the controls are not very intuitive. Okay. Now there are things cackling at us. So we got to be careful. Let's watch behind us. Okay. Hello ghost. Let's uh let's not let's not go that way for now. Let's take our chance with the rat. Two rats. Okay. Die rat die 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 die. die. Okay, we killed one rat. One more to go. Okay. Turn around. Okay, there's nothing here. Good. Let's keep going this way. Can we pick this up? No. But we do need to light this. If we can find something to light it with, that would be great. So, for now, we're not going to go where the ghost is because that sounds like a, a horrible, horrible idea. Um, can we light our, our stick? No. Okay. The ghost is no longer there, but where did he go? Okay, we found a lighter. Good. And a skeleton, a skeleton with a... Let's drop that. Mushrooms. All right. I'm sure Howard and Steven are dead. I'm all alone. There's no way out. The rats are everywhere. I've tried to eat them, but they just rot instantly. Or maybe they're already dead. Some of the mushrooms are poisonous. They're hard to tell apart but the ones that grow in the alcove at the far side of the cave seem safe. I found another hidden door on this floor, but it doesn't have a switch. That doesn't make sense. If I can't find it, I'll have to find Howard and that key, but I can't go back down there. There's something terrible down there. I just can't go back. All right. Well, we did find a key. What happens if I go too close to you? Can I hit you with the stick? No. Okay, let's keep going. We do have this as well, which we will, we will grab, but I don't foresee us wanting to eat that or else we'll turn into Mushroom Boy over there. Um, 
Should we grab this one too? Sure. All right, just in case. Now we have a lighter, which means we can start lighting stuff. Oh, that down there is already lit. Let's try lighting this one. I wanna see what happens. There's something, there's a hole above it, which uh, is a little bit disconcerting, but nonetheless, let's see, let's turn that off. When you turn off your light, that's when the music starts. Okay. So can we not light this? I heard something behind us, another zipper. Was that our backpack? That might've been our backpack. All right, can we not light this F? I know you can light this because we did it in the tutorial. All right, what happens if we put this up here? Hold on, my light's in the way. Okay, let's try that. No. There we go. Okay, we lit it. That's what we had to do. As you can see, the controls are not necessarily intuitive. Which really is my only gripe so far. There we go. Even the constrained to different tiles thing doesn't actually bother me at all. I don't see the ghost over there anymore. We could go back that way. I'm gonna head this way, which sounds like a bad idea because the ghost was here, but the ghost is no longer here. So we might be okay, or we might be completely screwed. We're about to find out. Okay, so I think we found our first key. Oh no, behind us. Oh, we died. Attempt one, after taking 141 steps and collecting one key in 10 minutes and 28 seconds, I was poisoned to death by a damn rat. All right, we're gonna try one more time here really quickly. All right, so it starts us off the same way. We'll put that there. All right, let's pick up this rock. All right, so same thing here. What's in our backpack? There's a flashlight, which is definitely what we need. See that swing stick? Let's pick this up. All right, I also don't see any like real health indicator. I might be missing it. Come at me, bro. I'm ready for you. There we go. Didn't stand a chance. All right, let's keep going this way. We'll need a lighter for any of that stuff. Yeah, I know you're looking at me. Hold on. I don't know if we're supposed to hit these eyes or not but they stare at you. So I'm gonna say, let's just hit it. Oh, okay, we found the next thing. We found another thing, okay. Darkness is unhindered here. Okay, so we're one floor down from where we were. Wish me luck. Let's kill the eye for good measure. Only, only bad thing is if there was items on the previous floor, we no longer have access to those. Okay. So far, so good. Let's pick up this rock. It's the only melee or ranged weapon that we have so far. There's footsteps. Hard to say from where they are coming. 
They are getting closer, though. Let's hit the eye. They are getting closer. Okay, now they're getting further away. He does turn a little bit slow. We found a room with blood and walls. All right, let's do it, guys. That's nothing. Oh no, keep going. Oh, we were crushed. I was crushed by a living wall. We almost made it. We almost made it. I think this is a pretty good game. I'll be honest. It's it's different enough to where I can see how some people, if you really like... Yes, I know. I've read that before. I wish we could disable that. Um, the ones that you've read, at least. If you really like games like this that are scary or whatnot, I could definitely see people getting into this. The only, only bad thing I have to say about it right now is literally just that the controls are a little bit weird. And there's no, there's no health indicator. And I wish there was. But they definitely, they do the sound right. The only th bad thing about the sound is it kind of cuts in and out without warning, you know? Okay, we found the next floor with our face. All right, yes, yes, yes. Conquer something, something or other. I wonder if I don't use the flashlight, what happens? I don't know. I see rat's eyes. Let's kill it. Oh, it poisoned us. Okay, now we're definitely poisoned. I hear stuff. It's coming for me. I know it. Yep, there's another rat there. So the green-eyed rats must be the poisoned ones. Let's see. Let's read it this time. The darkness walks unhindered here. Walk only in the light yourself. Do not linger in shadows, or you will walk no further. Hasten to the next floor. There, my brothers may aid you. Okay. So... We've made it pretty far. Oh, okay, we're on the next floor. We're almost there. Where are we? These halls are long and dark, but the vigil is still kept. Seek out my brothers for aid. As long as they look after you, the darkness will not assail you. The next floor holds your only chance of salvation, but not even my brothers can help you there. All right, it is getting louder here. Let's, let's find out what this guy is talking about. Let's keep going. I saw the eye there. Yes, I know I was gonna I was gonna stop it there, but we're making progress. We're making progress. I don't know if we're supposed to hit these eyes or not, but they're creepy, so they get to die. Okay, living walls. What is this? I hope this is what the guy was talking about. This looks like where spiders would be. Okay. There's nothing here. There's a tree. Let's talk. Well, let's walk up to the tree. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I'm sure it's significant or else it wouldn't be here. There are living walls. We're going to go as fast as we can so we don't get crushed. Okay, we made it. I don't know if we were in peril or not. But we made it. Can we pick that up? No. We can pick that one up. Let's go this way. Alright. We're making headway, guys. Okay, that eye is going to stare at us now. Let's get out of here so he can't see us. Here we go. What is this? All right, let's go up to a door. Nothing. This door. Nothing. Okay, this door. Nothing. How about a coffin? 
The lid of this sarcophagus is solid stone. There's no way to lift it with my bare hands. Nothing. How about this one? Same thing. Let's grab our stone. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's get rid of as many eyes as we can. I have a feeling this is what he means by my brethren. Maybe we have to find one of these that will open. How about this one? Nope. This one. Nope. This one? No. This one. Come on, one of these has to open. Okay. None of these open. We have to find something to open it with then, I guess. Let's hit this guy. Okay. We'll have to come back to this. Oh, there's stairs going up. Let's go up. That's kind of janky stair looking physics there, but it is what it is. Does this mean we're going in the right direction or the wrong direction? Because we have to go down, right? I wish you would turn around a little faster. Oh, that's where we fell down, isn't it? Okay. Guess we'll just have to keep going. This is where we need keys. Mushroom in, mushrooms out. Okay. Let's find those mushrooms. We're making some progress, guys. We know the mushrooms are around here somewhere. I know they are. You die. Here we go. We can go down? Okay. We did need help by, with that guy anyways. All right, cool. This must be the spider layer or something. Run, run, run. You're almost there. You must make contact with the heart of the tomb. But use the utmost care. The darkness is strongest here. Okay, there's nothing down here. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. I still don't know what he means by the darkness. I, th I feel like we're making some huge progress. If we step there, will we go down? No, okay. I hear thumping though. All right, wish me luck. There's something here. Just a rock. Hello? Okay, there's nobody there. Let's go this way. What is this? Oh! The heart is just beyond the sphincter. Okay. It's gonna close in on me, I know it is. Nope, there's the heart. Let's kill it. Okay, we killed it. Traitor, what have you done? That was the core, the last defense. The darkness will now spread and cover the entire world. Even you escaped the tomb. There's no longer any way to escape your fate. Isn't that what I was, I was supposed to do though? All right, let's keep going. See what happens. Apparently I wasn't supposed to kill it. Okay. Which way, which way? It's getting louder. Much louder. Let's try this way. That's a dead end. It's getting darker as well. This is the way we came, let's try this way. 
there's a hentai monster. Aw, oh, killed us. Hentai monster killed us. Attempt three, after 260 steps and collecting zero keys, I was killed by an animated cluster of vine or veins. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that there. I actually really like it. I think it's different. You know, I haven't really run into a game like this, although it's very maze-like. And much like Spooky's um, House of Jump Scares, it reminds me a lot of the Windows 95, like, maze screensaver. Uh, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, it looked nice for what it was. If you want to check this out, I will leave everything you need down in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.